We just got a letter. 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 I wonder who it's from. It's a letter from Jennifer Manning. Hi, Dan. It's me, Jen. Today, I'm getting, today I'm going to watch um one of re, one of your videos that you posted on YouTube. It's where you did your um your your episode review on um my favorite episode, Blue is a Play Song Game, and I got really excited when you, um you um uploaded it on YouTube, and um that got me very excited. And you know I love that episode, so there's Hayden, and um here's the episode. Here's the episode right here. Watch. Hi everyone. Dan, the My Little Pony, and Sophia, the first fan here. Now, I found out just a little something that I'm going to be doing right now. So, you quite remember that Joseph Brooke Gilmore did the episode reviews from seasons one to six of Blue's Clues? Well, I'm going to do an episode review from season one, episode 14 of Blue's Clues, which is Blue wants to play a song game. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I am definitely gonna do the episode review on the season one, episode 14 of Blue's Clues, which is Blue wants to play a song game. So this episode review will be dedicated by my friend, Jennifer Manning. So anyways, on to this review. So, in this episode, Blue wants to play a song game. Steve, from Blue's Clues, wanted us to help with the song game called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. At first, he thought it was Head, Shoulders, Back, and Belly, but it's not. It was called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. But then, Steve wanted to play that song game one more time, but Blue doesn't want to anymore. So, we played Blue's Clues to figure out what song game Blue wanted to play. And so, anyways, the monkey that was sitting on top of a toy box want us to play the song game called Two Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed, which is definitely the song game we're going to be playing with the monkey. And after playing that song game with monkey, Steve said, All right, Blue, we gotta go. We still have to find two more monkeys. And then he meant, because he meant to say clues. And then, before finding a second clue, we, Mailbox, played his favorite song game called If You're Happy and You Know It. Because, you know, If You're Happy and You Know It was Mailbox's favorite song game. But not only that, it's also Tickety Talk's favorite song game as well. And then, we skidooed into the beach to help an octopus, two crabs, and two herons with their rhythms. First, we had to help a crab with the rhythm of the rain, and the octopi wanted us to figure out which octopus was dancing to the rhythm of the wind. And we had to figure out which heron is dancing to the rhythm of the waves. So anyways, a three blues clues for the episode were a sun, rain, and a spider. The answer to that nursery rhyme was Itsy Bitsy Spider, which is basically Blue's favorite song game, don't you believe? But there was a wrong answer to that one. It was a sunny spider who got caught in the rain song, and that was a very funny one. <laughs> so in the very end of that song, it says, Right, Blue, now it's time for me to pick the song game, which is the So Long song. So yeah, so I love that episode so much. I'm going to give it like 35 out of 10 stars for that. 
So, anyways, thanks for watching this episode review. Feel free to like. So, so yeah, that was the that was that was a really nice episode rev review on my favorite episode, Louis Play the Song Game, and 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 when you dedicated that to me, that was the best thing I, I ever I got really excited about. So, so be on the lookout for more videos for me soon, Dan, for you. So, until then, bye, Dan. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas to you, too. Wow. I'm so glad that Jennifer really likes that episode review.